Hey, 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 Virgo, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your daily dose of love tarot. So this is going to be a reading for my Virgo sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Virgo, if you would, before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Make sure that you're utilizing the link in the description box if you are interested. Virgo, as there are scammers about the community, and know that you will always see my face in a reading if you order one from me as well as receive an unlisted link. Know that all my orders do go through Etsy and you will always receive a message from me from Etsy uh, saying or letting you know the turnaround time as well as when your reading is finished, you will receive a link that will bring you here to this YouTube channel where you can view your video for as long as you like. Know that I don't do phone readings as well. Virgo. Jeez. All right, so let's get it started. Ace of Wands, Virgo. This is your overall energy. There you are. For me, you come out as the Empress all the time. You have the King of Wands and you have the Seven of Wands. So, Virgo. I'm getting the song, It's Hot in the City, so <laughs> I got to write that down. It's hot in the city. All right, so Virgo, you have a fire sign coming in, okay? You have a fire sign coming in, and this is going to be um, a hot love affair. That's what I'm feeling. I feel like there may even be more than this person <laughs> because of the seven of wands. You may have to fight them off with a stick, right? So let's see what else is going on here. The hanged man. We have Piscean energy. We have nine of pentacles. And judgments. Mm. For some of you, this could be somebody from the past. What is judgments? The star. You may have wished for this person to come back. You may be wishing. Well, guess what, Virgo? Your wish is the universe's command. Yep, ten of cups. So it's like this is coming over the hanged man. You've been waiting for your wish fulfillment. You've been waiting for your emotional fulfillment for this person. Whoops. Yeah, nine of uh, swords clarifying the nine of pentacles. I feel like you've been single for a while, okay? But you've been anxious and fearful that you weren't going to find love. And guess what shows up? Now, if this isn't somebody from the past, this is a dream come true. It really is. It's a wish come true. And if it's not, it's one hot, passionate love affair. <laughs> okay? Thoughts. You manifested this, Virgo. Privileged lady. Happy birthday, by the way. And great fortune. So there's a lot of abundance here. Imprisonment all up in your head all up in your head yep so stop getting in your head because you have a dream come true you have an opportunity to actually be happy so don't overthink it this is what I'm getting because you feel good you look good but then yet you question right you question what If this person is coming okay so let's get to your challenge you have the three of cups you have the Sun card 
You have the Eight of Pentacles and you have the Wheel of Fortune. So I do feel this is a reunion with the Three of Cups. So you're going to be reuniting with somebody. You're going to be working on this relationship and you're going to be very happy. Okay. Now, it's a challenge getting there. This is what I feel in the challenge position. It'll be a challenge to work on it. It'll be a challenge to keep this momentum going so that you can insert or inject some, you know, luck into it. That's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like you need this momentum in order for this to be what it needs to be. This could be a Leo, by the way. This is a Sun card. Okay. Let's see what this is. What is this? What is this? Queen of Swords, Prince of Wands, and the Chariot. Okay, so your challenge is to move ahead and get this momentum going, right? The chariot is all about movement. The chariot is all about balance and travel. So you could be thinking about moving, but it's a challenge getting there, right? You could be wondering what to cut out of your life in order to move ahead. This could be a challenge. What is the Prince of Wands? The Six of Cups. Yeah, so you're going to feel like a kid again. You may have to make some sort of decision, okay? Be careful. The Princess of Swords is when you play with fire, you get burned. So if there's two people here, all right, one will be younger, one will be older. If there's two people here, you're playing with fire, all right? If you have to choose. All right. So, toil and labor. Hang on and high honor okay so virgo i feel like it's going to be a challenge for you to raise your vibration and i say that because i feel like this is getting in the way the nine of swords all right so there's a lot of anxiety there's a lot of fear right all right so let's look at your outcome virgo I would suggest meditation because I feel like this is going to calm this nine of swords down and or exercise. So go check out your circle of life reading for the week. That's meant to keep you in alignment in order to manifest your desires and dreams. And I feel like this could help you out tremendously. So you have the three of wands, the six of pentacles, the hierophant. And the tower. Hmm. All right. You're going to be juggling two people. And I, I, I told you with the Princess of Swords, right? If you play with fire, you get burned. So you may get what I feel like you may get proposed to with the tower and the hair font. Okay. Tower. The Prince of Cups, the Queen of Cups, and the Seven of Swords. What's the hair font? The Seven of Pentacles, the Prince of Pentacles, and the Two of Cups. So I feel like Mm. You may want to run, okay? Uh, I, this may scare you, this proposal. If you're not ready for marriage, I feel like it may scare you. Even though you're very much in love with this person or it's hot, it's very hot. But again, there's two people here. I'm trying to find... Is it this one? You may have a younger water sign, okay, that is going to come in 
Who is this Prince of Cups? Three of Pentacles. This is somebody whom you work with. They want to manifest something with you. Is this the one that proposes? Ten of Swords. But they want you to end something. Okay? Temperance. You're going to have to end something in order to be with this person. You are juggling with the Six of Pentacles here. What's the Three of Wands? Five of Swords. You're going to have jealous people. Okay? You're juggling Ten of Wands and Ace of Swords. So you may make a decision, right, and be clear about this decision, but there are going to be people around you that aren't going to like this decision, all right? I do feel that temperance here can guide you forward. What are you going to do? Now, you're wondering what to do. This is what I feel the Seven of Swords is. So you have the King of Swords, Death. And the hermit so transformation is going to occur you're going to go within to think about this decision what's the seven of swords the four of swords and the five of pentacles yeah see this is what I'm saying you may want to run you may go somebody if they do this okay four of swords not speaking five of pentacles is um, ghosting leaving someone out in the cold and the seven of swords right of course it may be this prince of cups not sure but you have a couple of people here all right queen queen of pentacles are you kidding me oh that's you yeah okay Yeah, you don't know which offer to take. And you have a Libra here, too, with the King of Swords. So you have fire, you have air, and you have water. Wow. Yeah, this is a new start for you, okay? And you're not sure what to do. <laughs> All right, so you have sudden wealth. You have expectation and official business. So you're thinking about what you want to build, right? You don't want to be left out in the cold. You don't want lack. You may feel lack, but you're not lacking in anything. Okay, you're concerned that, yeah, you're concerned about ending something. Okay, but there's abundance that's going to come in. And I feel like it's an abundance of health. Uh, health. Uh, an abundance of... Um, money and abundance of love be careful this anxiety doesn't get to you here's that marriage card because it could affect your health so you have mature man wealthy man and courthouse you may have to choose between a mature man and a wealthy man just masculine energy that's your decision yep this is your decision What's it going to be, Virgo? What's it going to be? Let's get a advice. Advice. Four of Wands. Six of Wands. Holy shit. And Nine of Wands. Okay. Break those walls down. Okay. And wow, you get a lot of fire here. Know and believe that you've overcome a lot of obstacles, right? And they want you to be stable. They want you to be happy and celebrate overcoming these obstacles. All right? So I feel like if you stay in that joy energy, okay, that happy energy, I feel that it's going to help you with this decision, okay? All right, so... All right. Advice. So we have wounds. Withheld support from the past can cause low self-esteem that cripples action. So were you feeling, have you felt not supported in the past, right? Even as a child, you can think back, you know, way back when. 
So if this has anything to do with any fears that are happening now, you may want to look at that. And procrastination. Stop focusing on your problems and excuses. Take a small step and do something constructive. Absolutely, Virgo, I'm a procrastinator, right? And what I've learned in my pattern of behavior anyway um, is do something even if it's for five minutes a day. Have a goal, right? You want to you want to get something complete, then do it for five minutes a day or 15 or however you set. But make sure you do it every single day. And eventually it will get done because you're one step closer, right? So... There you have it, Virgo. I hope this resonates. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already have it. If you're interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Make sure that you're utilizing the link in the box if you are interested, as there are um, scammers about the community. And know that you will always see my face in a reading if you order one from me, as well as receiving an unlisted link. Know that all my orders do go through Etsy. And you will always get a message from me telling you about the turnaround time. And then when your order is complete, your reading is done, you will get a link that will bring you back to this channel. And this is where you'll view your video for as long as you wish. Know that you'll see my face in the video at all times, and I do not do phone readings. So Virgo, I hope you have a fantastic day, and I will catch you on the flip side of your daily dose of tarot. Namaste.